So hello everybody. Right, this is a bit of a weird random... This occurred to me and I'm actually feeling remarkably stupid that it took so long for this to kick into my brain. As you know, I'm a little bit of a geek and nerd and I overthink way too much and read everything in, into everything far, 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 far too much. So, this build right now that I'm doing is the friendly ending. This is going to be our friendly ending build. Eh, 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 no. Now I've already got someone organized for that, that's okay. No, just you stand there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm getting distracted again. So, as you can see, we have McCready. Everybody remembers RJ McCready from Fallout 3 and from Lamplight Caverns. The Murr of Lamplight Caverns. Smart ass. Really annoying. Rude. Arrogant. Wanted to punch the kid. Really didn't like him. Anyway, not a lot fond of the growing up version of him either, but yeah. He keeps claiming he's, he's got kills that are my kills. It's really starting to do my head in. Massively. Honestly, people. But anyway, we're getting off subject here. So, anyone who played Fallout 3 will remember we went through Lamplight Caverns to get to Vault 87. You could either go through Murder Pass or you could go through the computer. I always went through the computer. Okay? I have seen videos up where people made it through the front door of Vault 87. Now, I tried my damnedest to get through that front door, and it failed. It just failed horribly, time and time and time again. Okay? I could not make it through that door for love nor money. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know if, there, if it was a mod that was being used or how they were managing to do it. I literally, I tried everything, people, and I mean, I tried everything. I drove myself insane trying to get through that door. I actually think I spent something like four hours trying to get through that door and it just did not happen for me. So my question is, when the Enclave came for us, how did he and everybody else escape? Don't get me wrong, those caverns are pretty big. You know, I remember the Great Chamber. I remember getting lost in the Great Chamber over and over again but the enclave never did anything in dc in little numbers they always came in with force and i'm a major 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 force so hi it is it humanly possible that a bunch of kids don't get me wrong it is possible. No, I don't think they so. But that a bunch of kids managed to escape and outrun the Enclave. And they were not captured. Not one of them. None of them. Every last one of them got free. Including RJ back there. <clears throat> so, what I'm wondering is was there a ball drop? Did Bethesda literally drop the ball on that entire story? I've already said that I'm finding way too many holes and people keep going on about, oh, it's canon, oh, it's this, oh, it's that, oh, it's that. Uh, I'm, I'm arguing massively with, with it. And I'll, a lot of people have actually given me a lot of stick over it. And, well, uh, that's me. You know what I mean? Give me stick. I don't care. But explain this one to me, people. How was he not captured by the Enclave? Now, his DNA is not pure human, but that doesn't mean to say the Enclave aren't going to take them. All of those kids. You know what I mean? The, the, the Enclave would be very, very interested in new, new specimens along those lines. How were they not all killed, even? The Enclave has never had a problem with shooting children. You know, so it's a bit of a weird one there. So I want you to drop a comment saying, well, possibly this is what happened. Or, yeah, you're right. There was a major ball drop there. How come this story was just glossed over as if to say, oh yeah, the Enclave came storming through Lamplight, um, went in for you and the Gek and ignored a bunch of kids. They're not going to leave people behind. But that's not their nature. It really isn't. I mean, Fox managed to escape and hide because he was actually in with the Gek chamber. You know what I mean? He was in that way. These kids weren't. 
the only two ways in were through the computer or through the murder pass or the third was through the front door which was damn right impossible to get through and I'm, I'm, I'm not joking you people I didn't even get near the front door and I was dead and I was down in more rat away than you could have shaken a stick at I'm serious I actually had rat away on the thing click and click and click and click and trying to keep my radiation down and I died constantly I constantly died four hours I tried and I could not get through that door so uh, give me an idea give me a suggestion as to how you think McCready managed to make it to the Commonwealth then you know why does he have such a hatred for the Brotherhood that makes no sense mercenary or not you wouldn't have that much of a hatred is it the simple fact that possibly they were grabbed by the enclave they seen themselves as a little bit of an easier life and then all of a sudden the brotherhood comes storming through and wipes out these people that they seen were going to help them you know is there actually a viable reason as to why he dislikes the brotherhood the way he does you know um or is it just that he's you know mccready and doesn't like people whatever you think Drop, drop a comment and let me know what you've got to say on it and I shall say leaders peeps I'm away to try and get this account moved forward so we can get this friendly ending and see if we can get the sentinel going bye